puzzle activity. Um, this activity should be done within an activity tray. So Morgan's got a clear understanding of his activity space. And um, it's a fun activity that you can engage with Morgan too. So you can kind of sit here next to Morgan and help him through the process. Um, there's a variety of puzzles you guys can do and check out and explore as you go along with things and he gets uh, more familiar with each one. But he does well so far, um, working one piece at a time from top left to right, working his way down. So working left to right from top to bottom. Um, it works well when you can kind of have the pieces aligned in the way that they are going to go in the puzzle so he doesn't have to um, search for the correct one. At this point, that's been a little bit challenging for him to identify which piece he needs out of the entire group. So just having that um, laid out a little bit for him and he's still needing to use both of his hands to get the piece from there to this point and fit in all the way so it doesn't move. And you guys can play around with that, maybe giving him a group of three three shapes at a time and see how he does with that. Um, and just some verbal encouragement and coaching as needed along the way. But he should be able to do this pretty independently um, without much need for any hand under hand support. Um, and play around with this, check out some different puzzles. You guys can also play around with brailing some of the pieces to see if that helps make him a little bit more independent in identifying those objects or shapes within the different puzzle types that you find. And yeah, keep it fun. It's it's fun for him when he gets familiar with one and can do it qu more quickly, but it's awesome if you guys can keep up the variety that you're offering. Have fun.